So step three of our stand to stand uh, bridge pose. I will say I found that uh, this pose is not particularly good for the wrists. And in fact, if you want, you can probably move to steps four and five without really missing a beat on step three. But if you are gonna practice step three, I encourage you to warm up your wrists. So we're gonna do a little wrist warm up and then I'll give a little video clip at the end showing uh, the full exercise, right? So to warm up your wrists, you wanna take the edge of your hand and we'll just go for five, four, three, two, and one, and opposite. Five, four, three, two, and one. For the next one, watch. Take one hand, flip it like this. Take the opposite hand and bring it in for five, four, three, two, one. Opposite. So again, fa, fo, three, two, one. Inhale, watch. Take the arm like this, put the thumb right underneath the pinky and go down for fa, fo, three, two, one, and opposite. Fa, fo, three, two, one. Inhale. Put the hands together and lift. Fa, four, three, two, one. This one I figured out last week. Put the hands together and put the pinkies underneath the chin and lift. Fa, four, three, two, one. Inhale. Stretch the fingers a bit also. Fa, four, Three, two, and one. Last one. Fa, four, three, two, one. There's probably another half dozen to a dozen exercises you can do, but you get the idea. So why do I want you to work out your wrists? Number one, because in the exercise, I found that there was a lot of pressure on the wrists. And so another reason why I don't really care about this exercise so much is because it's really hard to get into and really hard to come out. And I don't find it's a pivotal exercise for eventually doing the stand to stand bridges, right? The next reason you want to work out your wrists is because as you're stepping back, if your fingers and wrists are not strong and flexible, you're never going to be able to plant your hands onto the floor and you're never going to be able to push up into standing posture uh, from your bridge anyways. So make sure there's adequate uh, flexibility and strength in the wrist. And also these exercises are just good to lubricate and make the joint strong. So watch me do the exercise and namaste. So this is me doing the exercise. As you can see, it's a little bit tricky uh, coming down on the mat unless you're really, really super flexible. And I find you could easily get hurt in this exercise if you're not particularly careful. Once you're down, just set your hands on the mat. So we just did our little wrist warm up, so you sh it should be a little bit easier. And just touch your head on the mat and then push back up and touch your head on the mat and then push back up and do this as many times as needed. Again, if you ask my opinion, I would skip through this one. But if you really want to do it for the sake of the book, then go ahead and do it. If you have any questions, please see my blog and namaste. I love you guys very much.